Welcome to my first ever test vlog with the DJI Osmo Action 3. This is going to be an unedited vlog of a weekend vacation away from home, but I'm also going to be testing out some of the key features on the Osmo Action 3 to see how this camera does in the real world. Features such as the fields of view or digital lenses, the color profiles, the slow motion, and how it performs in water as well. So come along with me and let's see what this new action camera from DJI is capable of. We've arrived here in Port Townsend and we're at our Airbnb for the night. We're gonna go check it out. These are our accommodations for the next couple of nights here in Port Angeles. I may have said Port Townsend earlier. I keep confusing the two towns. So you walk in, you get a little lounge area here, a table, nice little partial kitchen here, sink, little place to cook, and a nice big bed along with a bathroom. So we've arrived in downtown Port Angeles, really close to where the Dungeness Crab Festival is. And we parked right next to this really cool mural. Let me show you. There's this mural up ahead, and this is a really good time to demonstrate the different lens features here. So right now we're shooting in linear with uh, Horizon Steady on. Now I'm shooting on the wide lens mode, so this is what it looks like. And now shooting on ultra wide mode. So you can see that it's quite a bit wider. Dungeness Crab Festival, but we're actually starting off with uh, not crab, we're starting off with some fries because everyone's got to eat, including Julian, and we don't know if he has a shellfish allergy, so we're going to have to play it safe. Yes. <laughs> so it's $45 for a whole crab dinner or $25 for a half. So, got my little ticket here, and we're going to go get our crab. On the left side, yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, we got our whole crab at the Dungeness Crab Festival. It was $45 for the whole crab, but you know what? I only ate half the crab and I'm honestly pretty stuffed. So it was a pretty good deal. Uh, the sides were corn and coleslaw, which were honestly okay. The main event is obviously the crab and that was totally worth it because they harvested it just down the road. Uh, very local, very fresh crab some of the best crab that you can get here in Washington State. Well, it's day two of the crab festival and we are back during the daytime to check out the outdoor festivities and activities and so there's a crab derby here where people are kind of racing these crabs and it's a really good opportunity to test out the underwater feature of this camera as well as the zoom feature so let's take a look all right way to go now the time has officially started right now so that one that one doesn't count Got lots of time left, guys. You can do this. Oh, look at that. He's got the right idea here. Hold it, hold it. Squeeze the fifth one. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. So I put a CPL or circular polarizer on the front of the Osmo. And so here's a demonstration of how that changes the color and the saturation of this mural as well as the sky. Same scene without the CPL, just with vibrant color. And same scene with decent, like no CPL. 
Well, to give you a little idea of where we are and do a little indoor test, this is what it looks like in indoor lighting. And behind me is a map of the Olympic National Park, which is really close to this part of Washington that we're in and the main reason why people come to this town. Thank you very much. Seriously, one of the contenders for best ice cream ever. New Zealand style berry, this is strawberry. Solduk Falls here at a national park near Port Angeles and we're gonna go check it out. Almost. <laughs> Got the one on your neck. Dear. Yeah, what a cool baby. So there's several different pools here of different uh, temperatures. Most of them are warm, but there's a really big one that's kind of like the natural temperature here, which is a little on the chilly side. But I'm gonna go ahead and plunge. Oh, that's cold, but that feels good. <laughs> Floating, baby. Trying to swim away. There he goes. Here we are in the hot spring. It turned out a uh, pleasant surprise. There's one here for us. Exactly, and it's perfect for Julie. We are all relaxing. He's really cool. Yeah, he's actually floating and cool relaxing and giggling. Well, after a little hot springs adventure, we're chilling out with an elk burger. So I'll show you just how not so great the action is at getting macro shots or close-up shots. Here's how close we can get and not really in focus there. Minus a few folds. 